Pick a four side. Pick a four right side. Crack, crack, far, crack. What the nice. hell? Hey, behind, 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 behind. On the wall. Oh, yeah. Nice. I got a wall. Got him. Nice. Nice. I got, I got no kills from that whole thing. I'm an ass. Let's keep it going, guys. Alrighty, you guys ready? Alrighty, we have King Cross committed some gameplay for us today, everybody. Um, he plays Warzone for 8 to 12 hours a week. Plays on PS5, 77 cents, 0.8 ADS with a 0.03 dead zone. That's very good settings. Uh, Battle Beaver and Teep Scuff, smiley face. We love that. We love that a lot. Uh, play on a... Uh, HP 1MS response monitor that's 27 inch and curves. Okay. JBL Quantum 1s, baby. Oh, this guy's stacked. So immediately I know this guy, you know, he get, he gives a shit, right? He, he cares a lot. He has like a good setup that kind of like sets him apart already a little bit because he already has like a lot more effort than the, than the, the average person. Okay. Basically, I know I'm a bot and want to focus on rotations. Okay. I only have one win in BR and I have a 0.87 KD in BR, 1.27 overall. Value Teep's opinion on everything in regards to Call of Duty. Okay. Uh, struggles with most while playing Warzone in end game scenarios in positioning and rotation. Uh, I'm a bot. I have aim, but no movement. Okay. So it seems like most people have problems with movement, which doesn't make sense to me when they have like controllers and like that allow you to abuse the movement much much more so it like this is one of the most common issues we've seen with people submitting stuff so far let's watch the game before we climb in this guy isn't the best player okay the, the whole thought process behind this series and what's going to make this keep going for like long term is people being respectful of these people putting themselves out there and i know some of you guys especially on twitch or maybe in youtube comments are like this guy's a fucking bot. Meh, 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 meh. Like, dude, like, think of what the average player is in COD and the fact that people are putting themselves out there, right? It is more than most people would do. So let's just show overall respect and try. Like, I think we can come together and, like, help people here, right? So if you guys have input, shape it in a positive way to, like, help people out. And make this like a welcoming environment so like more people or maybe some of you guys will like want to actually like do the same thing right i don't care about you two kd players be like whoa but like you're a bot right so like i kind of scale my feedback based on the level of player i'm going to be way more harsh on a three kd player than i am for a one kd player because the three kd player sh probably shouldn't be submitting gameplay for pubs like, if you're that good of a player, you should be dominating pubs anyway. But those are probably the players that bitch about my lobbies or something. Or have some sort of excuse as to why they don't hit the next level. That being said, let's be nice. Little Caldera gameplay. Royale. All right, it looks like we got a little duo action. Team, let's see where they drop at. Looks like they go right for a bounty. Which is kind of weird. It's kind of a weird start, other than landing kind of in the middle of nowhere. To go right for the bounty. I don't hate it. Right away, movement is the most clunky thing I've ever seen. I'm, it, I'm not sure if he has auto attack sprint on. So that might be one thing we need to keep advantage of. Or keep, keep advantage. Keep note of as we move throughout the video. It does Like, I don't know if he has auto attack sprint. And like, even just watching him try to get out of that window. Like, you need to like. I don't know. I feel like he's not using his right paddle or he's not playing on tactical. It is auto attack sprint. All right. Teammate immediately chows and dies. Good start. Good start. He's on 7.7.8, 7 which is pretty low for ADFOV, I will say. But it's not the worst thing in the world. Sent to the gulag. They'll fight for a chance to redeploy. Nice couple of kills. Good start. 
Okay. Yeah, the movement is not there at all. Just like not comfortable slide. Like I like not even a slide cancel in sight. So like this guy obviously uses either a uh, a scuff or a battle beaver, and it, like just doesn't feel comfortable with it at all. So like you got to start sliding with your right paddle or playing on tactical like I do, and like really like you just got to do it. Like that's that's the first thing. There's a slide. So like, this is a common thing. I, I feel like people are comfortable with slide canceling, but as soon as they get into a fight, they like erase it from their brain for some reason. So like, again, we've covered this on some of the previous episodes, but I'll show you guys real quick. Like, I'll just leave the audio off on the game. So like, it's all momentum when you're going forward, right? And you need to like, what, what I think people struggle with is they just slide cancel in a straight ass line and they don't focus on where their crosshair placement is. And they, again, this is going to be very simple thing for a lot of you guys, but they get into a fight and I think they can't necessarily multitask enough to like keep aim on them, but also like use movement. Right? So I think their thought process is to aim first. Everything else later is how they prioritize when realistically, like they have to get comfortable. Like, how do I, how do I phrase this? It's all momentum in the fight, right? You need forward momentum to like really put pressure on the other player. So like in this guy's scenario, in this fight, right? It is like, he's not fighting the best of players or anything. So like, not only could he get to this fight way faster if he's slide canceling, he gets this heady up here, right? He sees this guy on the right. This should be like immediately his first thought here needs to be a slide cancel close. And then another, I would say another slide cancel onto the heady. We talk about cameraing people. So like his first thought process is aim first. So like, like it's like almost, it looks like a panic to me, right? Oh shit. And he locks on his shots are pretty good, but like, Instead of taking any damage at all, because he, he's already down to a plate, and obviously these players aren't good, but that's not the point. Like, it should immediately be, immediately be slide cancel, slide cancel, chow, onto the heady, based on his positioning right here. And he just doesn't, like, that's not even a thought. Not even a thought. You know? You can just tell. And the reason I'm saying this is we see him slide cancel immediately after the fight when he goes to rotate away. So like if if he just wasn't slide slide canceling at all and didn't know how to do it, it, it changes the conversation. But he knows how to do it. It's just not even a thought once he gets into like engagement mode. They'll fight for a chance to redeploy. So like same same shit. Like he's sprinting, he bashes the door. So, like, immediately, like, not abusing the movement at all. You can make this same challenge with a slide cancel through the door and, and immediately, like, not be afraid you're going to take as much damage because you're just moving faster. And remember, like, your main goal a lot of the time, slide canceling, is you do it twice to get your tax sprint better. Or, sorry, better. Tax sprint back faster. So, like... You go over here, right? I use all my tax sprint. Now it's shit. Like your movement's going to look body when you're just doing a regular sprint. So like you need to get tax sprint back. So you use it all up. And then, and then we, this is like bot movement. Like people, when you see people sprinting around the map, like you can automatically assume they're a bot. You need like, just, you got to just get in the habit of always getting your tax sprint back. Like why, why are we walking around like this? If you're still, if this looks like your gameplay and you're just cruising around Caldera or Rebirth, like, what are you doing? But let's show you on ADFOV. Like, look, like, what are we doing still? This guy knows how to slide cancel that we're watching, which is why we're being so critical right now. Let's get, let's get rid of our, uh, our tax sprint. These bots keep killing me. There, auto sprint. Oh, shit. Oh, where's the guy? Oh, oh shit. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a guy. Okay, back to running. Ah, oh, guy. Ah, uh, like 
Does this look at does this look like your gameplay? Ah. Uh, like what you need to do is turn on an auto attack sprint and just get comfortable. You have to do it. So like get used to auto your attack auto attack sprint. See how long it lasts for. And then you got to get in the rhythm of doing this, getting it back. Get this timing down over and 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 over. Once you get the timing down, you're going to be way like way more comfortable instead of just derp sprinting up to this heady right here you should immediately have the thought process like let's say there's a guy on this heady right here instead of just like bullshit challenge like this like that's your shell that's your shell that's your shell that's your shell where are you challenge use your movement line it up get used to it you bot use your slide i know you know how to do it do it See him slide canceling? Teammate has failed. They're sent back to base. The five bomb zone has faded. Okay, gets loaded. He's rocking a Cooper and Is that a anti-tank rifle? Buys a Uv. I like that. What do we got? Player behind him. Okay. Rolla, 22. Appreciate you. You're losing ground. What did I say? What did I say? Does this look like your movement? Watch. We need a recon here. It's, so, UAV this is what I mean. He gets, he sees this guy and he sees red, right? Immediately when he gets into like fight mode, watch what he looks like. Tax printing. You know? UAV is out of fuel. Returning for resupply. Oh no, this is a type. That's a type. Okay. And now he starts slide canceling immediately after. Not comfortable in a fight at all. He imme like I'm getting triggered that he immediately starts doing it after the fight. Decent shots, whatever. Switches the sniper. Boom, nice shot. Cool. Now I'm cracked. Now I'm cracked. Why are you cracked after the fight? Who? Why are you cracked after the fight? Let's let's see if we see the same trend. Every single time he starts seeing, like he gets in in, in fight mode, we'll call it. Enemy dropping into the AO. Enemy dropping. Bot back. Oh, hit the jump up. Oh, no, he wants to fight. Okay, I respect it. Seize him. Yeah, guy pulls up on him. That's fine. Nice shots. Boom. Easy clap. Where's the floater? He's keeping tabs. He, he's rocking stims, by the way. Let's see if he ever uses one. He's making sure this other guy's not here. Hey, buddy. Hit the shot. What are you doing? You have a sniper. You have a sniper. You have a sniper. You have a sniper. Thank yep. Thank you. Now that he's 500 meters away. 500 meters away. Oh, hit it. Not even hit it. All good. All good. All good. He finds somebody, obviously. Oh. <laughs> this guy was watching. He got sniped. Oh, that's tough. That is tough. Okay. Let's see what happens in this gulag. Is he gonna get one? He just gets released for free? He gets released for free. Okay. Lodi drops. Let's see what happens here. So he just hangs out here for a while. So he got a knock. Where's this knock at? Rotates out. He, okay. So let's go back a little bit. 
Let's go back a little bit when we see the zone pull. So we get all the information. Okay. Seven zones closing. He knows the guy's like right above him, behind him. He gets spotted. Okay. Zone pulls pretty far. This rotation, if he goes fr like front side outside of this building, which we obviously spoiled it. We know he we know he does that. Is just awful. It's probably your it's probably your like least case scenario to try and win. What you probably need to do here is try and get up to the second floor, right? Which he doesn't want to fight. So that's like really a problem in itself. But like realistically, you either kind of rat it and go this side of the building because then you have more cover on this rotation as a whole. This way, your percentage of winning, especially like like this player we're watching, is basically zero. Like you're just not going to win. So like the ratty style of play, you got to go back over this way, take your time. And then he doesn't have a stim, but you can easily like stun somebody that's playing out this way. But realistically... If you rotate this way, anyone who's playing top of this building is just going to like fry everybody and win the game as long as they're even half decent. So let's see what plays out. Like that's something you need to recognize like right when when this zone pops and realize that this course of action is just ass. There's no other way to say it. So now he's panicked. Zones on his ass. He has no mask, no stims. So now he's just it, it, like pressured, uncomfortable. He hears the shots above him. One drops. He sees one. Chest bumps the guy. Not a slide in sight. And this, yeah, this player is just decent. Has a well gun. Barrel stuff some. GG. Okay. First off, King Cross. Thank you for submitting the video. I don't even know if he's going to be here or not. Here's our takeaways. As soon as the any engagement starts, your movement and your any any thought of moving well goes out the window. Your priori like prioritization needs to be probably the exact opposite. If there's one thing that this guy does well, is he can hit some shots. Is it the best shot ever? No, but that doesn't matter, right? Playing on a sensitivity like that too is it, it like looks. Because he's moving so slow, it makes your sensitivity and aim look even more clunky and slow. His sensitivity is fine, and it changes completely when you go from, like, bot movement to just, like, being able to, like, move around. And you almost just, like, strafe and use your sense, right? Like, your sense is going to look faster moving like this than you just doing a regular sprint, right? So, his, like, main issue, number one, is he doesn't want to fight. He doesn't want to fight because his movement is so ass. So if he gets caught in any sort of situation, he can't. He doesn't feel like he can bail himself out. He's running stims, so he like wants to be able to move like that, but he doesn't take any of the time to work on it. Okay, so like he needs to get in a in like this or just go into plunder, and like before he shoots anybody, he needs to get in the habit of just doing that, just a single one to start. And then you start getting fancier and moving around. But like, he knows how to slide cancel. Okay. And the reason he's scared is he's scared to just do a simple movement like this. That's it. This guy needs to shoot a thousand bots. He needs to slide cancel a thousand times and then shoot a bot afterwards. One, two, just do this. Just get in the habit. Get in the habit. Get in the habit. And I, I almost, you don't even need to shoot a lot of the time. Just. Like, literally step one, I would just go slide cancel and try and get your crosshair on a bot. So, like, I think his late game play is just a, a way bigger issue that he needs to solve, right? If you're more comfortable to, like, actually move on the map, you're going to be, you're going to make decisions faster. When you make decisions faster, you're most likely going to be in a better position. When you're in a better position, you get to a late game scenario and that and he is on the second floor looking over, waiting for information. When you have more information, your next play is very, very obvious to make. So it's like it's like a it's like a snowball effect. You 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 are more confident, so you want to take a fight, and you want to take a fight earlier at the best spot on the map. That makes sense?
That's it. All right, cool. King Cross. I don't know if he's in here, but or if he's gonna see this. But thank you so much, man. I, I hope I didn't. I, I hope I wasn't too harsh. And I appreciate you so much for like putting yourself out there. And hopefully, any of this stuff that I'm saying like translates, and like you're gonna focus on it. Thank you, King Cross. Can we get some W's in the chat for King Cross? I, I felt like I was a little bit harsh that game, but I, I feel like that's what he needs. Okay. Next up, we have... Oh, Master Asia. Are you in here? You are. Okay, let's get it. All righty. Here we go. All right. Uh, 8 to 12 hours per week. Plays on PC. Um, Sense, 0.75. What? What does this mean? FOV 105, Dead Zone 0.05. What, is it, what does this mean? Uh, PS4 Scuff Impact. Love that. He's got a 144 hertz 1080p monitor. So probably a 1MS if I had to guess. Uh, I should teep, choose your gameplay to review. I've been trying to get uh, to Teep level for a while. I think I play similar to him, but my game IQ is not at his level. I just wish to learn more from watching him. Bet. Uh, In-game IQ isn't the best in some situations, or I get too nervous and make the wrong move. I think I can definitely be more confident in some situations as well. Over, I think I've hit a uh, wall in self-improvement. just want more advice to see what I need to do better at. Okay. I, like, it's very general. Like... Are there certain situations where you feel like you get overwhelmed? Do you feel like you don't really know what to do in some situations? Yeah, maybe maybe the gameplay will, will tell us a little bit more. Bro, are you okay? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. 2.71 in the last hundred. Not bad. Oh, it's, it's cut. Easy beam, love that. Eating fam. Your audio sounds really weird. It sounds like it's like uh like you're like you're in it like a like I'm like the voice comms. It sounds like you're like in a tunnel or something. Where'd he come from? Oh, let's watch it back. Damn, look at y'all. Eating fam. Ah! Where'd he come from? So, like, that was just you, like, not plating. Just getting a little kill hungry. I don't hate it, if I'm being honest. But, you know, if you pop a plate... You're chilling. Bro, you make it around outside, the wall. Dude. Get outside and res me. Oh, that's because I stream through voice meter. Got it. Okay. I don't my ping to the right. Bro, I just a fish yep, another kill. I'm picking him up. I down him. I down him. I down him. Freebie. Love to see it. Guy, uh, this way. Bro, we dude, he's picking him up. He's picking right him up. Now. I'm gonna get that guy's gun as soon as you get me up. Cover. Messed up your reload. The oh, fuck! I didn't load. Yeah. So this is just an overall tip that might be basic for some of you. So you see, like he barely canceled his reload. Number one tip in Call of Duty, any Call of Duty ever. Stare at this ammo in the bottom. And then as soon as you see that number register the reload, you YY or triangle triangle out of the animation. Every COD, every situation. Any gun, you just look at the ammo count. Like, watch. One more time. Just very, very like, simple thing. The fuck? I didn't load. Bang. You, so you see how that popped at 105 right here? Why, why out of it? So you don't have to do this bullshit where he's fucking punching his gun. Immediately cancel it. So uh, this goes for when you pick up a weapon, too, which is very helpful, probably on, like, a rebirth. You Like, you go into bottom prison. It's super mixy. You're, there's a guy next to you. You're racing for the gun. You grab the MP40. Immediately, immediately cancel the animation of picking up the weapon. Get in the habit, dude. Fuck, you stuck me fast. Fuck, is this game is rushing, is rushing. Yeah, more kills. Love to see it. 
You guys are kind of fragging out over here at hangers or uh, at the airport. Love to see it. Comma and period on YouTube will go frame by frame for situations like that. Cool, thank you. I'm just kind of like chilling, leaning back. So I'm just moving my mouse. I appreciate it. All right, you guys are fragging out. Oh, he's one shot. Oh, I'm scared. Let's see what the loadout's looking like. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, we got some gamers. Of course, there's a whole fucking team. Uh oh. I like the child there without plating because you know you had good damage on the guy. Good play. Get caught around the wall, which sucks. Oh, you're gonna let me die? No! I feel like. Oh, what the fuck? I feel like you just kind of panicked a little bit too much here. You could have very. Like, as soon as you get this kill, watch. Shots are good. You. Crack him, he gets you kind of weak. You you have no plates. Great chow here. You get the kill, right? Like right here. Like I know you get shot once, but like look at your health. Like that didn't do much damage. You very easily stay in this building and you just plate and throw shoulders. And then and then if so like you have two doors to work with, right? So in the scenario where the guy pushes to your door on your immediate right over this way right now, like you just this it's like a little I don't know, filing cabinet thing in front of you. Or I don't know what it what it is. Like it's like on your back right now. But you just finesse that and then you just run out and close whatever door while you're plating and finessing. You kind of like freak out a bit too much here. Like you, you like you won the fight. And then instead you're trying to like come like I just like You're chilling, you know? Of course somebody far fuck away and shot me. Nice gulag. You going back for Lodi or what are you doing? Nope. Going over for a scav. I respect it. Little reset. Okay. Well, let's see what the class. You get a loadout. Um, yo, master, what's uh what class? Are you running ghosts? Are you running high alert? I guess I guess we'll find out. But I'm I'm assuming ghost, right? It was ghost? Okay. Little Bren action. Focusing his LP. Paper blue. Okay. You guys should probably just be crushing at this stage of the game. Easy kills. You got a Bren. You're just going to be mowing people down for the most part, I'd imagine. No kills for a while, but we're just kind of like looking for some stuff. Another kill. Not bad. All right, teammates are dead. Fuck me, dude. Pretty shit, chal. Less than 25 I was trying to look for you, then I got shot. All right. You kind of let this guy cross for free. Then you kind of hesitate of what you want to do. You see the zone kind of pull and rotate that way. So like right here, first off, I think your first mistake in this particular scenario is like you could have this top, this window, this window, you just break this glass and you like hop and you like peek out to the right a little bit. You probably have an easy line of sight on this guy who's like down here crouching. So like giving up the high ground, not great, but I don't, I don't hate what you did either, right? You go down here, you have the well gun out. You see him. Right now, you miss your shots immediately. Immediately, what you should do is reposition because you're going to take free damage, and the guy you get just give the guy the free advantage in the fight. So, like, I feel like the overall thought process of keeping high ground there to make the fight easier is probably the better move. So, you kind of like panic and then you go for the chow, and then it's kind of just weird because I think you hit some shots onto this pole right here. So you see, you go child the shit out of the guy because you're a good player. So I totally get that. 
Um, so you got like overall watching this game, you guys are just kind of frying over here. Things really, really slow down. I think you panic on your first death. I think you very easily could have stayed alive when you're when you're in the bottom part of this building over here, uh, like right here. Just finesse. You have two doors to work with. You have so much cover with these lockers, right? You just finesse. You play. You just hold your ground. Instead, you're like, oh, shit, I'm weak. I'm going to jump out of the building. Oh, my God. Ah, ah. Like, just, I don't know. You're kind of chilling. Fuck you. Oh, my God. Language. Then you reset over this way. Get the scav. You have a gold well gun. So, like, your loadout's fine. You don't really get many kills over here, but you're, like, actively looking for kills, right? Factory can just kind of be like that sometimes. So, to, I don't know. This one's kind of tough. And I want to help you. Like, you just absolutely ego child this last guy. <laughs> so, like, I don't. you don't really get to a point where I see you in a late game scenario to try and help you out. So, I guess it's just, in, in the, from what I have to go off of on this video, is, like, recognize your advantages in the fight. And I guess not, like, freak out. Kind of hold your ground a little bit more. I don't know. I feel like you take damage and you're like, oh, shit. Like this, that guy just is kind of cruising. So yeah, I would like, you like, I feel like you think about doing it. Break the glass, hop up, peek over on the right a little bit, see if you get some free shots. It, it, like you think about it for a second, I feel like. And then right here, you shoot. As soon, like that was what, nine bullets? That's when you just like reset for a second. In my opinion. But instead you run out. Gets you with a bullet. And then you just miss your shots on the Ego Chow. I don't hate it. You just whiffed. You just whiffed. Fuck me, dude. So, like, I don't know. I feel like I would need, need to see another gameplay out of you. You also have a stim if you want to do that. But, honestly, I don't think you needed the stim. Nah. You just whiffed, man. I don't know. Like... Is more like your decision making after you had horrible shots with the first nine. Just reset for a second, straight up. And then realistically, you see where the zone pulls here. So like you have to go probably rotate down over this way, get back up the hill, yada, yada. But we don't even see any of that progress. So it's hard to like help you out with your overall game IQ is what you're going for. Uh, I guess overall, when you're just like taking damage or you're probably in like a 1v2 or a 1v3 or a 1v4, just like maintain your positioning more and really know how long you can stay in an area instead of trying to like freak out and run around and I don't know. But again, that probably might have, might have just been an issue for this game. This isn't the greatest gameplay to give you feedback on, if I'm being honest, because I don't really see a lot of scenarios that you're asking for help where I can really help you with this one. But yeah, just don't try not to panic as much. It's probably what I got for you so far. Thanks for the submission, bro. Uh, let's get some W's in the chat for Master Asia. Thanks, bro. All right. Next up, we got Nerdy. Nerdy, you here, bro? I think I saw you in here. All righty. Nerdy. Uh, 12 plus hours a week. PC. 6'6". 110.05. PS4. Controller. Paddles. Um, 144 hertz monitor. Cheap $40 headset. Okay. Noted. Maybe think about some JBL Quantum 1s in my ride. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. I'm annoying. Um, I'm an above average player. 1.57 KD overall. 1.99 Caldera. Looking to get to the next level and get more wins and higher kill wins. Okay, higher kills, more win percentage. Kind of a combination package. I struggle with positioning and knowing when to be aggressive versus hold back. Sometimes I'll tunnel vision on one fight with a campy team too long instead of going for easier fights. Okay. Also drift for my team a bit at times and not calm that info. Then they get into a fight and I'm not there to help. More so an issue in Caldera. That makes sense. I was gonna say on Rebirth, like Rebirth is kind of like a like a mix. Um, you guys are freaking out about the strike pack. I'm gonna assume like Nerdy's like a regular here. I would I would assume that he's not using strike pack for any sort of bullshit advantage and just using them for paddles. So. That's what I'm going to say. Here we go. A little rebirth action, baby. Here we go. Side canceling. He's obviously a sweat. 
He's got the movement down. Come on. Not enough YY to be a sweat. We'll see. We will see. Decent wins. Easy peasy. I, oh my god, that was that was the most loud death com I've ever heard in my entire life. All right, so you kind of send it up top over here. BB. And you get uh, traded by his boy. That sucks. Boys. Unlucky. Right, Go back go in. Reset. Like you get Lodi. Looks like a well gun. And I don't know. Full sniper action. Show me something. One's uh, jumping into here. There's that rally point. Show me some. No. Couple kills, easy peasy. Down. Freebie on the loadout. Love to see it. Uh. So, like, Master Asia, are you still here? This is like a good example. See how his shots were ass? And you see what his instant reaction is when his shots were ass? What the fuck were those shots first? But, like, now he's like, I'm not fighting this. Like, that was awful. Like, Master Asia, that's what you need to do. Like, that, if you apply that same thought process to your last game, the game probably goes better. Sometimes you're going to whiff. And that's fine. Everyone whiffs. I whiff. But when you whiff, you, you just take a second and you reset and you, you know, you take the fight another day instead of being like, oh, my shots were ass. Let's ego chow harder. You know what I mean? Like, that's a good example. Uh, Regroup for a second. Sweeping around where you just were. These guys were all like low. Looch. Four squad in front of uh, green there. All right, I'll keep it buck for a second with you, nerdy. You're a great player. You're a sweat. Where's the stim chow? Where's your top prison control? Stop whiffing snipes. Like, what are we doing? Why am I so bored? God, I'm, I'm pissed. Well, you're on five. Tire kill games. What am I watching? What are you doing? Sitting in the corner. Up. Your teammate's using a Jack 12. I'm pissed. There we go. Fucking five minutes later. Thank you. But like, you see how you've wasted your oh, whole you lobby? Up, there are dude. people at like 16. You're death. wasting your lobby. Bop. Thank you. Oh, oh. Team, I want higher kill games. Like then the fucking go to top prison with a car 98 and headshot everybody. Please. You can breathe. You lost the enemy track. Bob, thank you. Get back up top. Get back up top. Get back up top. Buy, buy a fucking triple. Do something. First to buy. Like now you're moving, but it's too late. Your lobby's dead. Shooting down's awkward. You get the kill. There's one up more over there, Luke, I think. And then there's a team coming up. One was knocked from and died, I think. They're about to fight, probably. Like, now you're in late game already. You guys rotate and probably win the game for free. Dylan, is that my guess here? Where, where the live mark was. Oh, no, you're in a 1v4. Yeah, you probably lose this. There, okay, let's watch. Let's see how this progresses. Okay. You see all these pings here. What do you do? You Your immediate goal is to get top control, right? Because you're already on the steps here. You don't want to. You play low. Okay. You should have went up the steps. Went up the steps, get to top. You go through this little staircase. You get top control. You absolutely fucking bop these two bots sitting up here for free. Instead, you're playing low ground. Now you should probably try and... Uh, you have two stims. You quick rotate. You use your gas mask to get in front of the zone instead of everybody Dude, else. I guess Instead, you're sitting here doing fucking nothing. That from those. 
There's one guy over there. You need to get over here ASAP and notice this is an isolation fight and kill this guy immediately. You're just playing scared now. Down low. He's wasting, down wasting, right time, wasting time, wasting time, wasting time, Guys, wasting time, wasting time, wasting time, wasting time, wasting time, wasting time, wasting time. You get the headshot. Nice. Still have stims. You still have a gas pass. You still have stims. You still have stims. You still have stims and a gas pass. You still have, you're too late. You lost. You lost. You lost. You lost. You lost. What are you doing? What are you waiting for? Gas pass. Oh no. I'm dead. I'm fucking pissed off. Like, what are you even doing? You're such a good player. You don't get top. You don't use your gas pass. You don't use two stims. Fucking bot. Like, you're so good, but you're so dumb. Oh my god, nerdy. Fuck me. God damn it. What are you doing? You're so good, but you're so dumb. I'm saying this because Nerdy's a regular and I like him and he's awesome, right? And I'm holding him to a higher standard than I am for a regular person. But what the fuck, dog? You're, you're a sweat. You're a slide canceling. Your shot's fine. You're hitting car 98 headshots. And what do you do? Oh, no. I, I, I'm playing edge of gas because I'm a little bot. Like, dude, sim slide at the guy at the wall, quick scope him in the face, quick scope the guy top control, make them push you on the rotation, use the wall as a heady, snake him if you have to because you're a sweat, right? And just win the game for free. Oh my god. The team's low. Right on the ladder. Your, your thought right now is to get top now. Get top. Bye back, great teammate. Nice job. UAV, nice job. Like, wrong. Wrong. Unless your thought is to go down this door into the staircase and get up top from inside. What do you do? Gas is inbound. Marking new safe zone. You Seems like you think about it. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Now you go. Nice. Wrong. 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 Unless your thought is to go over here and get the early rotate. Dude, I... One, two, one. One, two, one. Yes, shot from me. Wrong. 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 Those guys. Wrong, wrong, He's wrong, right wrong, 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 guys wrong, 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 now you have even more of a reason to get over here. Even more of a reason to get over here. Why, why are you not? You should be, you should be, you should be here 20 seconds ago. Right here. A year ago, you should be over there. Guy in the building. What are you doing? What are you, look at these. Look at these. What are you doing? We're, we're, we are still here. Live mark was. Yeah, Look how long you're here. Hold for there. I don't know. What are you doing going this way? The zone's over there. God, ah, dude, I'm pissed. Come on, bro. Nah, I'll keep it up. I'll stop being annoying. But like. You make five wrong, like, reads in a row. Like, five. From you being on the steps by the buy station to now. Like, just five in a row where I'm just like, nah, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. You could win this game so free, and instead you, like, put yourself in a very impossible situation where all these guys are making the same... These guys are all making the same mistake as you, but at least they have high ground, right? So, like, that kind of bails them out a little bit. But, like, you just use the map and you get them all to move for free, for sure. So, that's what I'll say for the end game. From here, again, I'm, I'm being an ass right now because he's a good player. The better you are, the more I'm going to, like, roast you, probably. But like, what are we doing, man? All this time, what are we doing, dude? What are we doing? What are, why are you down here? What are you down here? Why are you down? Oh, over here is fine, but give me a kill. What are you doing? Now you're over Water here. Tower. What are you doing? Why are you down here for so long? Like, five. 
five 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 i'm turning this shit off on board you know what i mean you're too good you're too good um let's do one more yeah you guys down uh nerdy for real i know i kind of like roasted you and hopefully you like i i have a lot of respect for you okay you're you're a great player you're a sweat like you like bro that's a 20 bomb on it. Like, that's such an easy lobby to, for you to drop 20 to 25. The fact that you're sitting bottom with, like, five to eight kills is just, like, why are you playing? Like, come on, bro. All righty. Well, uh, Nike Narwhal, you in here, buddy? That's our next uh, submission. All right, Narwhal. Here we go. What? Nike, why is... Why? I don't think he's in here. Why is his gamer tag hard in public? the fuck are we doing <laughs> come on man 12 hours a week uh ooh, mouse gamer five cents on 4,000 dpi no way right it's got to be 400 type it's got to be 400 no 400 dpi samsung odyssey g7 20 inch 1440p 240 hertz monitor exclamation monitor Oh, yeah. That, I feel like I said headset on accident. Monitor, baby. G7, 27-inch, 1440p. Monitor, baby. Exclamation. JBL Quantum 1 headset. Yeah, baby. Oh, this guy's got the goods. JBL Quantum 1. The Samsung Odyssey G7. The guy has just got a great setup. Yeah, baby. Oh, it, it might be 4,000. I plan on an outrageously high sense, so I think my gameplay will be a different change of pace for most people since the majority of players plan a lot lower. I'm surprised to do gameplay to keep this segment going. I love watching them because they also help me, even if they aren't my gameplay. I think I struggle with 1vx situations why I hope to hop into a quad fill rebirth game. Positioning in general is hard for me to grasp in these situations as well. You can see I just run into houses and hope for the best. Do the same in Caldera. I'll be able to go out and comfortably be able to split my, with my squad and get some dubs. Cool. Four thousand dpi let's let's show let's show everybody let one give me one moment i i play on five cents in game let's let's change my mouse to four motherfucking thousand dpi oh, oh. Dude, oh my god oh my god Ah. Uh, ah, uh, it's so fast. Ah. Uh, uh, I'm trying to track. Yeah. yeah. You're still at 2.5 cents too. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh. Uh. I just got carpal tunnel from watching this. Holy shit. Yeah. With some motion below. I could use a sick note for work. Oh, bro, what are we doing? Let's watch. I'm jumping on the tower. Like I'm not doing one. Oh no, he kept going. A bunch of them went down the living area. There's one on the roof above you, purple. He's coming down. He just popped the UAV. Three. Shot. 
You got some company over there, buddy. This seems like a completely normal sense to me. Nice shots. Almost turns and burns. Nice try. Fuck. I can't seem to get it from inside. Looks like a rapid fire, Owen. Who got you? And where? Next door? Mm -hmm. Little squad. Yeah. A lot. Couple kills. Gets traded. Up here. Uh, oh. Gets loaded again. Fuck, man. I shot first. Oop. It's there. caught. Back to Lodi again. Gotta love oh, Rebirth, am I right? One on top of the prison. I left one day. But he's coming to get him, though. Here. Nice. Very just fucking pissed on me. Carefully. No cap. Nerdy, this is how you need to play. His positioning and like the way he approaches some fights isn't great. But the overall thought process of him wanting to just chow, 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 chow. Like some of y'all need to do that a little bit more. Especially if you're like a good player. You know? All right. So closing his team's alive. One goes down. Buddy in the... Caught by the snipe. Stone pulls behind him. He notices it. There's two teams left. Yeah. Um. Trying to catch a snipe. I don't hate it. Well, that was creepy. Pulling up on the right. Here's him. Two guys on his right. You need a quick uh, rotate around the mountain. Going this way is death trap. Uh, trippy guy. So yeah, pretty that must be the bad decision making once again. Uh, so I don't mind him being here. Like he drops down the hill because you see where the zone's pulling, right? Like I don't mind this. Nice sniper knock, especially to one stim. Uh, it's fine to hold like this because everyone has to move way further towards you. We gotta get to the Takes another snipe. Right now, your entire play changes because they have they are now closer. Okay, so hit like it depends on what your goal is, right? But I think you probably still get more kills if you try and get like rotated back around this way. So like his positioning turns from like really good to like not good as soon as this guy starts to get angles on you. Because you know there's at least two over on this side still in the windows. So, like, I think immediately once you're, like, positioning over here is compromised, you probably just, like, use your stim and or gas mask and take your time to reposition back over this way. Get up the steps to this building where endgame's going to be. Well, that be so, like, <laughs> he's like, uh-oh. These shots, are, like, he probably doesn't realize it's two. And especially once you realize it's two, you immediately like f start finessing. Get down, pop the stem, and like. As soon as you like, as soon as you go to not rotate, you're dead. Straight up. Okay, let's look at some of these like middle game fights where he's in these buildings. Gets caught, unlucky. What? Oh, we got you. Yeah, but fuck, man, I shot first. Oh, nice throwing knife. Tech W. <laughs> I'm sure that's uh. So like, it seems like this is a this is a trap that I've kind of fallen into. Is drop shotting on mouse and keyboard is so good, but. When you get into fights like that, where you start, you know, it's slide cancel fest, it's it's chest bumping, it's barrel stuffing. The last thing that you want to do is stop moving. And that's what drop shutting does. 
so like in some scenarios like drop shotting and like hip firing is good there but from my experience playing on like mouse more and more as soon as you stop moving versus a good player you're probably just really screwed and like they're probably on controller so like they're gonna hit more shots probably at close range so i think your one opportunity you have is just trying to like keep the movement and the momentum of the fight going right forward momentum rather than just like stopping it on a dime by drop shotting so when i play mouse that's something that i've been focusing on too not kind of relying on a drop shot as much because if you don't immediately kill them you lose and then this so i uh, uh, people want to like know how i think differently in in late game scenarios that's like the main question that i get Almost every single gameplay that I watch that it gets submitted from you guys is like you waste time right when you know where the new zone is. Like repeatedly. And I'm talking more like late game, not right now. But we get to like this stage of the game. So like I guess what I notice different is like as soon as this zone pops, I have a plan. And for all these games that I watch, I see people kind of like, for lack of better terminology, they just kind of dick around for 10 seconds. So like, you need to, right now, you need to get a knock or get ready to rotate. Doesn't get a knock. Doesn't rotate. Well, that was creepy. Doesn't get a knock. Doesn't shot. rotate. Uh, now you're dead. Dude, in the so let's let's say right now you see the new zone. And so it's what 11 16. 16 seconds later, he's still here with no knock. A knock maybe will change things a little bit. 18 seconds later. You know? So like, that's, that's a takeaway from me. When I think about what I would do in a lot of these late game scenarios, and you have so much information on the minimap, especially with the zone and where players are located, people don't make a decision fast enough. If you don't have the advantage in the fight when they have numbers on you, when they have an elevated position or like a heady of some sort, and like a lot of the time, like you could just be the earliest rotated person. So I guess what I'm saying is like most of these gameplays that I watch, they don't set themselves up for success in late game, whether it be number advantage, high ground, early rotate. You got to get something. So... If there's one thing to take away from late game rotations, late game positioning is you ask yourself some questions and you have to do this quickly, right? You can't just like waste a bunch of time. You need numbers. You need a knock. You need some sort of pressure on the other team. You need high ground or positioning of some sort, whether it be a heady high ground, a good, I don't know, a good line of sight of some sort to watch across. Or to be early rotated. To not have to move before other players. So like when people like they put their they put their back to the zone. And as soon as the zone makes you move before somebody else. Your probability of winning goes down dramatically. So you just got to be way more decisive. Instead of like sitting around. Uh, and then just like personally for, for Nike. I think the, the reflex to drop shot so often is something you need to like kind of get away from like it's good to have right i think uh i think drop shotting at times is, is very good on mouse but like when when you this is something that i used to do let me show you real quick so like you have a sub out right and you get to like some of these close range fights and you immediately want to do this and it's good but like it's you need to like if you don't immediately kill them on like a rebirth or there's like another player or something you'd much rather like take your shots while you're still moving and you're up on the map and like bunny hopping and be able to reposition 
Because, like, what happens if you don't immediately kill them? You're just stuck. There's no way to, like, chain the next fight or to keep the fight in your advantage. You got to, like, you see how much faster it is when you stay up? So, like, if you're in an isolated 1v1, it's not the worst thing in the world to, to drop shot. But, like, really can kind of fuck you up versus, like, a good controller player. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Hope you guys enjoyed uh, Tips with Pete for today.